yeah, technology is fantastic in the classroom. Whether I'm using it in terms of a, of, a, of a hybrid class where I'm meeting with the students and then having them do stuff for me online, or if they're true online courses, I love the technology, uh, especially in my field, because the technology allows a certain level of granularity that you really can't get without the technology. What do I mean by that? Um, when I have a language course, if I only have 50 minutes or 90 minutes for a given class, I can only cover so much material. And if somebody has a question, I need typically to answer that question, and that kills time from doing other things I may want to do in the classroom. When I have the options of using video or using an online format, students can go into that video or into that online format and repeat the material, or they can look at other material more in depth. So for instance, if I have a homework assignment of say 20 questions from one language into another, what I'm able to do is maybe one or two in class, and then the other 18 or 17 of them I would give online for the students to look at those. So there's a certain level of granularity, a certain level of ability for students to repeat what they've learned or to look more closely into sentences. What's also nice about that is students who know a certain sentence or know how to say something, they don't need to watch that. What they can do is they can focus their attention on a second, third, or a fourth sentence in the assignment because they're all movie files online for them to look at at any time. It's also great for studying for examinations for the students. They don't have to rely simply on their notebook. They can go back and actually watch the lecture a second time, a third time, a fourth time, and they can rewind it. Did they catch that word? Did they understand that phrase? If they didn't get it the first time, they simply rewind it, watch it again. You can't do that in the classroom. Well, being a teacher today and teaching foreign languages, teaching in hybrid courses or teaching online courses is very exciting. I, I, I really wonder if it's ever been as exciting in, uh, in the academic world because of this technology. I mean, when you go back, when I look at the teachers that my predecessors going all the way back into the ancient world, we started with clay tablets, and they were very heavy, and it was very limiting how much you could actually carry around with your actually you could learn. And then from there, the technology brought more information with papyrus. Papyrus was great, but it was in scrolls. Uh, you know, and, and then from there, we moved into the notion of a book. And then from books, where there was a lot of information, it was much lighter, you had the printing press. So now you had massive amounts of books out there. And then from there, in the 20th century, or 19th and 20th centuries, we had the typewriter. Uh, the typewriter, along with the television, combined to make yet another form of media, which, or another form of communication, namely uh, using the computer. And then they connected that to the telephone, and now you have it online. So I really see uh, technology as simply the, the next form of education, the next form of transmitting information between teacher and student. And it's one where now we can get as much more information to the students, we can do it much more faster, and we can create much more interactivity. So the equipment that I use for teaching courses online or courses that are hybrid courses really varies every semester. Uh, it's evolutionary. Right now what I'm using is a program called Camtasia. Uh, and I'm also using that in conjunction with a piece of hardware called LiveScribe. So the Camtasia is great because it actually allows you to record screens on your computer and mix it with video. So I can put a camera on. Uh, very often I'll get support right from IT for the cameras. They'll even come into the classroom and uh, film the courses for me. And then I can add later into it uh, a screen so that the students online can actually see me lecturing and they can see the material that I'm lecturing about. The LiveScribe is actually it's a notebook where you write material into uh, into the notebook and it saves it as a PDF on your computer so I can take notes or I can give class lectures and send them out to the students whether they're in a class like a hybrid format or an online format uh, and that one actually originally came from IT they gave me a loaner to try it out and I loved it so much I said eh, I think I'm gonna try one of these for myself been using it ever since now what's great about trying this stuff here at Roger Williams University is that the IT department gives you the latitude to try this stuff uh, they may not support all of the material that we have, but they're certainly willing to use their facilities to help us complete our projects. So for instance, as I said, Camtasia is one of the primary tools that I use, but a lot of video goes in there, and the IT department will help me with the video and show me how to incorporate that into my program so that I can use what I feel most comfortable with. Another uh, application that I've been using quite a bit is a program, it's a free piece of software called SimpleMind. 
And what Simple Mind does, it creates mind maps. So you can create a, a screen that has all sorts of bubbles and all sorts of charts on it. You can add material in there. And what I'm hoping to do is create mind maps, not only of a course, so that a student can look at, just for a moment at the, at the map of an entire class or of an entire semester and see what we're going to be covering. But eventually, I want to use the Simple Mind program to create uh, a map where the students will contribute information into the map themselves and through links on the Simple Mind program, other students can click in to see what they found. Moving forward with technology in the classroom, I want to see, and I'm always looking for ways of creating more interactivity uh, between the students and the faculty, especially when they're sitting at their desk in their uh, apartment or in their dorm uh, in front of a computer. Right now, we're doing a great job offering lectures to students that are online in video or having them respond back and forth with the, the faculty member. But what we don't have is that right at the moment interactivity that you do get in the classroom. And I think that is the area moving forward that I want to pursue. I want to pursue it with applications, things like uh, Periscope or things like Adobe Captivate. Uh, these are the sorts of programs that I think moving forward uh, will allow students to feel as though they're more a part of a classroom experience even if they're online.